So first of all, first and foremost, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you, uh, if you're listening to this on a podcast somewhere on, on YouTube or whatever, make sure you subscribe and share it with your friends. Uh, if there's value here that you see, make sure everybody else gets to hear it too. Um, having said that, let's go ahead and do our three things real quick. Um, so the three things for today's show. And once again, we got two more shows coming up on relationships. And, and if you like this one, they're only going to get better. I promise you that. Um, so my three things, I like to make some sort of an action plan for you guys at the end of here. So uh, uh, number one is if you're thinking about relationships, if you're going to get in one, or even if you are in one now, you got to let go of the past. you got to work on being the right person as opposed to just looking for the right person. Be the right person. Do the work. You know, do the intrinsic thinking. Read books. Kind of, you know, get to know who you are and work on your inner demons and the things that are preventing you from, from finding that inner peace on your own. Uh, the second one is, you know, you got to see value in what relationships can bring to the table. You got to understand that they're not all bad. They might not be what you see in the movies all the time. Like he said, every day is Valentine's Day. But it, it does bring a certain sense of security and safety and, and belonging and and kind of just comfort, if you will. It just makes things a little bit easier. I know for me, it makes waking up tomorrow much easier to do, knowing that my wife, I'm going to go to bed with her that night. Um, and then the third one is you got to understand, if you're getting into a relationship or if you're new into a relationship, expectations lead to resentment. Stop thinking that you know how things are going to go. Stop expecting certain things to act a certain way. Stop thinking you know the reasons behind it if they don't go the way you expected them to go. You'll notice that it, it, it brings a lot of trouble your way if you do those things. If you don't do them, in other words, if you don't expect things, if you just let it be who it is, it's much, much, much easier to accept. And you find yourself less willing to add to the narrative. So uh, now uh, I've oh, got to thank my sponsors. Yeah. I almost forgot there. So the uh, first one I'm going to think is uh, uh, Retreat Premier Addiction Treatment Centers. They're a fantastic facility. Um, we also got Journey Pure, which is another good one. Uh, we got Orange County Drug Treat Coalition here in Orange County with uh, Carol Burkett. And we got the Now Matters More Foundation. Make sure you check out nowmattersmore.org to donate or see what we're about. And if you or somebody else you know needs help, 833 Now Matters. You can get a hold of us. I think that's our time. We got to wrap it up. Till next time. Peace. <laughs>